Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Table Full of Joy. I'm Cheryl. If you're new around here, welcome. We are making some vanilla cupcakes this morning for a very special little lady's 12th birthday. Her mom um, is in my Bible study group and we go to church together and Rhea is turning 12 today. And I'm excited to make her some vanilla cupcakes tonight to go surprise her for her birthday. So we're gonna get our cupcakes made. We're gonna let them bake. Then we need to go run an errand so that we can make the strawberry frosting that's gonna go on these. We're gonna get some freeze-dried strawberries. Um, so we're gonna get these made real quick and then we're gonna get on the road and go get those uh, strawberries. All right, so in our mixing bowl here, we've got one cup of sugar. We've got a half a cup of olive oil, or not olive oil, oil. <laughs> not olive oil, oil. So we have our oil there. We've got one egg. We're gonna crack our egg in here. And we have got two tablespoons of sour cream. Sour cream is going to, there's a lot of recipes that call for buttermilk. Sour cream does about the same effect. It makes the cake very moist, really, really soft and tender. So we're gonna add in one tablespoon of vanilla and it looks like I think that's all the vanilla I have. So I think I'm gonna to have to either buy some more or make some. Well, I won't have time to let it sit long enough so we'll have to buy some, but yeah, we have a little left. All right, so we have our tablespoon right there. We are gonna mix these things up together. And then we, while these are mixing, we're gonna mix up our dry. So we've got that going. We've got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour in our mixing bowl. And we're gonna put in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. There's our baking powder. And we are gonna put in a half a teaspoon of salt. We're using our Redmond's Real Salt again. That's my favorite, I absolutely love it. And we're gonna take a whisk and we're gonna whisk these things together. While these are mixing, we're whisking this. Whisking your dry ingredients together lightens up your flour and it really makes your, your cakes um, or your muffins or any of those kinds of things that you're making really makes them really light and really fluffy. Okay. All right, so I think we're good now to start incorporating our flour. We're gonna add this a little bit at a time. We want to be really careful that while we're doing this, we're not over mixing our cupcakes because that's the last thing we want to do. We want them to be really nice, really light, really fluffy. So there's the last of our flour. I'm going to turn the speed up just a hair. And we forgot to put in our half cup of milk. So let's get our half cup of milk put in. I was like, this batter looks a little dry to me. <laughs> All right, so here is our half cup of milk. Let's get that put in. Let's give these a mix. Now it's looking like cupcake batter. Funny how that happens when you put all the ingredients in together the way they're supposed to be. <laughs> it comes out right. Let's give this a quick. Okay. Just wanted to get the rest of the lumps out of this. All right, we're gonna get our paddle off. I can get, I'm trying not to get anything on me. <laughs> All right, sorry about the noise, that's awful. All right, so we have 12 uh, cupcake papers in our cupcake pan. We want to make these easy to transport. So we are going to put, I think we're going to put probably one and a half scoops in these. Yep, looks like about one and a half scoops is going to be about right for, we don't want these overflowing. We want them to just come to the top. We want them just to have a nice lift on them, but we also want them to not completely explode. So I think one and a half of these scoops is about right. You also want to make sure that you have the, the right amount in each one because otherwise they're not going to bake evenly. If you end up with one that has more batter than the other, they're going to be different sizes. You're going to wind up with unbaked cupcake when the rest of them are done. 
uneven baking and nobody wants any of that. So we're gonna try to be real careful that we're just getting one and a half of these scoops in our cupcake papers. These are some really cute little cupcake papers that I had in my baking stuff. So I think these will be really cute for Rhea's birthday. All right, so we're gonna just, let's do the one scoop in each of these and get that done. And then we'll come back in with our half cup, our half scoop once we get all of these filled. My bowl has been fighting me lately. I don't know if I need to clean something or I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out something because it's really starting to become a pain. All right, so there's our one. Now we need to do our half on each one of these. And that is gonna be all the batter. So that, you know, I've noticed sometimes you'll read a recipe and it says that it makes 12 of something and it really doesn't. It makes like 20 or 24. So I'm glad that this just made 12. So we're gonna scrape our bowl so that we get all of our batter out. So we make sure we end up with our one and a half scoops in each of our cups. All right, so these are done. We're gonna put these into our oven. We have a 350 degree oven. And we are going to get these baked up. And while these are baking up, we'll clean up our stuff. And then we will head out to go get our strawberries. Back for running our errand, we went and got some freeze dried strawberries. So you're supposed to put these in a food processor, which I never did replace my food processor after it broke <laughs> a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna use my little manual food processor. I think this will work just fine. So we're gonna throw some strawberries in here. These look really good. I think we'll try one. Mm, those are good. Okay, I'm gonna put our lid on. We're just gonna start. at them. Yep, they need some more. Still have just a couple pieces, but I think we're going to be okay. So we're going to start with one stick of butter. To make our frosting, we're going to put this in our mixer. We're going to add a little bit of vanilla. That's probably good. And we're gonna add most of this box of powdered sugar. You're gonna start your mixture off pretty slow so we don't end up with powdered sugar all over the kitchen. box. Let's give that a shot and see where we are. And then we are going to mix in our strawberries. We need to get our butter mixed into our powdered sugar. I'm going to add just a little bit of heavy cream. to have a little bit of moisture. Just like that. Okay, I think we're good now with our strawberries. We're gonna add these in. stop real quick and we're going to give our our bowl a scoop. We're going to scrape everything down into our bowl. 
get this all down in there so we can get everything mixed in together because our butter is kind of stuck to the side now a little bit. So we need to get all of this down here. All right, I can see down here in the bottom of our bowl, we've got some powdered sugar that's kind of stuck. So let's get that scraped up. Be super, super thick. It's gonna be really hard to get out of your pastry bag. So you wanna make sure that you are only putting enough liquid in there that you have a good consistency, but you're also giving it enough powdered sugar so that it's gonna hold up. Because if your frosting doesn't have enough liquid in it, or if it has too much liquid, your, your frosting is gonna fall. All right, I have to taste this. This is frosting. How can you not taste it? Mm. That is really good frosting. I think we are there. All right, so you've seen me use this trick before to fill a pastry bag. Um, put a pastry bag in a glass, in a tall drinking glass. And I think we're just gonna put half of our frosting in at a time. I don't wanna overload my pastry bag. I wanna still be able to work with it. So we're just gonna put half of it in here. I have these cute little white pearls for on top of her cupcakes. And I wanna get those put on while the frosting is still um, plenty sticky. So I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna put just a few in this lid so I can get a hold of them. And we're gonna just put these white pearls all over the top here on our frosting, just to give us a really pretty cupcake. And we're just gonna continue on getting our cupcakes frosted. All of these frosted. I'm hoping, scrape this frosting down in here. Get us one last cupcake right here and have enough frosting for it to have plenty. And look at that, we managed to do it. We actually got all 12 of them done. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. These are gonna be cute. We're gonna get our little white pearls put on our cupcakes. These are looking super cute. One more to do. Then we're gonna get some candles on these. We're gonna get these put on our plate. Those are super cute. So we just have this cute little dollar store um, cake plate, super cute. So we're gonna put these on this cake plate, get our little happy birthday candles on these for her so that these are ready when she is ready to celebrate her party tonight with, I think they're just having family. And sometimes that's the best birthdays when you've just got a little bit of family to celebrate with you. Let's put it up here on top. Found this cute little happy birthday candle set at the Dollar Tree. So we're gonna use that. So we're gonna take the happy birthday. We're going to put that on that one. And then we are going to put, I thought these rose gold candles were super pretty. I thought these would be really cute on her cupcakes. These are super cute. I love this rose gold. I'm glad I grabbed this one. I was looking at some gold ones too. And I think these are better. I think these look more like um, a girl. These are looking super cute. All right, last candle. And there we go. These are precious. These are so cute. So these are our 
vanilla cupcakes with our strawberry frosting on it. This is for Rhea for her 12th birthday. I want to thank you all so much for joining me in my kitchen today as we made a special little treat for a special little girl who's turning 12 today, taking a little bit of stress off her mom and just blessing them with some cupcakes for her birthday. It means so much to me that you guys would spend time with me in my kitchen. I hope you guys will join me again. If you found value in this um, video and you like this recipe, please give the video a like and leave some comments for me. I want to know what your favorite cupcakes are to make. What do you, what do you go, what's your go-to cupcake that you guys make? Um, I want, I really just appreciate getting to spend time with you guys and to develop this community and grow this community together as we learn to do some new things together, as we get to celebrate people in our lives and we get to celebrate all the blessings that we have. You guys are definitely a blessing to me and it means so much to me that you guys take time out of your day to spend time with me. Have a great day, friends, and God bless.